Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Lenovo. In this video, we will going to discuss about the MCAT practice session. And so this is the second session from the Learn of Weight on Chemistry second year. And we're going to discuss today the chapter number three from the second year chemistry that is S block elements. And starting from the questions, we will going to discuss in the same way that have been discussed the previous chapter of periodic classification in which I have completed the question sessions and let you to answer these questions by taking out the options. And then I will going to discuss the answers with the relevant reasons for that. So starting from the question number one, that is, out of all the elements of a group 1A, the highest melting and boiling point is for dash. A. Lithium, B. Sodium, C. Rubidium and D. Potassium. So what they are asking that which of the following element of group 1A, you can see the all are the elements of group 1A, have the highest melting and boiling point. That's why you have to uh, know the reason of highest melting and boiling point and which having the greatest atomic number, atomic mass, atomic radius. You have to learn this trend for all the elements in group 1. Next question says that Nash has the highest atomic radius. A. Beryllium. B. Barium. C. Strontium. And D. Calcium. Again, this is the group 2A in which there is a series of the elements, the first one is beryllium and then the consequent elements are there. So which of the following has the highest atomic radii? This can be decided on the basis of atomic number and number of electrons on the outer shell. Okay, so the next question says, NaCl imparts golden yellow color on Bunsen flame because option A, low ionization potential of sodium, Option B, photosensitivity of sodium. These are the two reasons that are uh, suggesting towards the imparting yellow golden color on Bunsen burner flame. When you uh, just burn the NaCl, it will be uh, burned as a golden yellow flame. So what is the reason behind this? Either because of low ionization potential of sodium or because of photosensitivity of sodium. Next question says that the alkali metal are dash than water, Hi heavier, lighter, enlarge, all of them. So again, this question suggests how much the weight of an element or alkali metals are there. So and as compared to the weight of water, so they are either higher, denser or less denser, heavier or lighter than water. Next question says that a graphite anode in a down cell is used because a. It does not react with sodium. B. It is easy to fusion. So, in this question, you are going toward a process that is the down cell. And we all know down cells for the preparation of NaCl. And again, in down cell that for the preparation of NaCl through the electrolysis process, graphite is used as an anode. And they are asking why graphite is used as an anode, why any other metal or any other uh, any other el element is not used for the anode. You have to answer the reason. Either it does not react with sodium or either it is easy to fusion. Okay, so the next question, question number 6 says, Lithium plus oxygen form dash. When you combine lithium with oxygen, it forms an oxide that is called lithium oxide. So the question says that is it an acidic oxide? a normal oxide, a superoxide or a peroxide. You have to take out the answer from this that lithium oxide is normal oxide, superoxide, peroxide or other that. Other than that. So again you have to know the charge number, you have to know the types of other oxides that alkali metals form and then you will going to answer this question easily. Next question says that by mixing sodium hydroxide with aluminium, NaOH plus Al, ammonium forms what? Again, it's form a compound, obviously. Then maybe the sodium aluminate or other other than else. You will going to answer this or you can going to complete the equation and then you will get the point what is the byproduct form after this reaction. A, it is hydrogen release. B, carbon dioxide. C, water or D, oxygen. Okay, so the next and the last question of S block element for practice quiz session is that the plaster of Paris that is hardens by dash. The question says that plaster of Paris that you all know is made from the calcium carbonate. 
and uh, that is the hardest uh, it hardens when it is a giving off carbon dioxide b changing into calcium carbonate c uniting or mixing with water and d giving out water okay so this is a compound that is the in a powder form you all know and this is hardens when it react with some other compounds or can giving uh, how it hardens they are actually asking the reason so these are the options that are giving and you will going to answer this question by taking out the options from here so guys this was all about the question session that we have discussed almost eight questions are there for practice of as block element and other questions are also relevant regarding this they can become like these uh, examples because this is not overhaul question this is a basic uh, you can say okay, i give a sample to you that you know how questions can come in mcat and i previously in previous video i also said that the questions are not difficult then the uh, inter exams they are just more concept conceptual than that so you will going to get know about the idea about every chapter that how conceptual the question can be made from the theory. So that's why I've made this question a uh, sample for you guys to get it practice. And after that, I will also going to upload an answer video with the reasons. So go and watch that too. Thank you for following.